for a Wednesday night in Hong Kong. We're at Happy Valley for an eight race program. Welcome to Racing to Win, where we have it all covered for you. There's a few changes coming up shortly too. We'll get to that in just a moment. Firstly, though, to introduce the panel with Paul Lally and Tom Wood joining us in the studio today. And Tom, Class 2 race number seven, real quality. Yeah, it certainly is, Mark. A lot to like about that so one with uh, rewarding together. He's somewhat of a course and distance specialist. Takes on Street Scream, who's up in class for the first time. He's unbeaten this season as a Street Scream. And looking forward to seeing what Heroic Master can do uh, third up here. Blitzed them last time out. Bit of a conundrum for Matthew Chadwick in that race poorly. He'd been riding rewarding mm. together and Street Scream. And according to the press, Frankie asked him first, so he's on rewarding together. There we go. The early bird gets the worm, doesn't he? So he is on uh, rewarding, rewarding together. He probably uh, has got a really good chance in this race from a low draw. Uh, there's no jackpots to speak of as well, but uh, the, the racing looks really good, doesn't it? It does indeed. So well, we'll get into that racing in just a moment. Now, that news that we were going to bring you is that three jockeys have tested positive to COVID. One of them, Antoine, retested positive Antoine. Antoine Hemlin. So three are out. There are the changes. Race one, Treasurer Field, Luke Ferraris. Race two, Brilliant Life, Wagner Borges. The third one to use is now Harry Bentley. Races four and five are both Jerry Chow, Smart Cousin and Loris. Pretty Queen Prawn, pick up ride for Wagner Borges. And we've got Keep You Warm is now Luke Curry and Escape Route is Wagner Borges. So that's Antoine's replacements. Jai McNeil also tested positive to COVID. He's been replaced in race two on number nine, Island Shine by Matthew Chadwick. Race three, Flying Mighty is Dylan Moe. Race four, Fortune Triple is Harry Bentley. And a Prime Minister, race eight, horse three is now Zach Purton. Ruin Meyer, unfortunately, he's got a good record on Navas too. He heads to Happy Valley for the first time, but Derek Lung will ride for Richard Gibson in race number seven. We wish the three boys a speedy recovery from COVID-19, but out for seven days and testing protocols. OK, moving on to the meeting that does take place now. It is meeting at number 23, eight on the C plus three course of the rail in the extreme position for racing on Wednesday night. Later start 7.15 with just the eight races as well. And the first race we're going to look at is race number six. And it lines up this way. It's over the 1,000 metres. Class 3 race. Atomic Force is coming back off the all-weather special and best form this course and distance. Heroic Master carries an extra seven pounds for his win at start number two. Crystal Powerful was called left the building when trained by Luke Fernie. Won over 1,100 at listed level in Perth. Magic Phoenix is back in trip. Team Spirit blinkers off. Cheek pieces go on for the first time. Dinkum raced wide on debut. Super Axiom likely to lead. California Deeply from gate 7 out to gate 11 and both Pretty Queen Prawn and Super Commander Tom come up in grade on the back of wins with a good to fast tempo expected as we come over to the speed map. Super Commander showed high ping last time but he got Super Axiom to contend with this week. It was a terrific performance from Super Commander last uh, time out. Handlebars down from Luke Ferraris from the, the get-go and he flew forward but there's not many speedier horses in Hong Kong than uh, Super Axiom. He's likely to uh, lead up and actually stayed on pretty well I thought last uh, time out. Atomic Force with uh, Angus Chung's got the £10 claim so he shouldn't be far away especially from Barrier 2 and Summit Cheers uh, Paul coming to Happy Valley for his uh, second run at Happy Valley. He's come up with uh, a difficult draw. Yeah he's got speed over a thousand but he hasn't got the same sort of speed as Super Commander or Super Axiom, so he might be caught wide. California Deeply was slow away last time on his debut run. Prior to that, he, he'd been quite handy, but from a wide draw, I think he'll go back anyway. And Heroic Master, another horse uh, heading back according to the speed map. You think he's just going to sit back and wait for one run at them, Heroic Master, Paul? I think so. I think the um, Zach will just let the pace go and just sit back, yeah. All right, so we can find out more about that right now because here is the man in question, Zach Purton, a track work with Nick Child. Zach Heroic Master uh, looks to be a bit of a standout on Wednesday night's card. Um, extremely impressive last time in winning. Yeah, he drew the right gate and had the right run. Everything went his way. He was able to get the job done. Obviously, he's up in the ratings a bit. A bit more weight on his back and he's, he's drawn out wide. So I think it's going to be a bit difficult from there. We're going to need plenty of luck. But he's certainly um, racing well and if things go his way, he'd be competitive. Just having a, a sort of an overall look at the race, seems to be plenty of pace. Is, is that something that's going to suit this fellow? Um, possibly. It's, it's just a matter of trying to find a spot somewhere, isn't it? If they all push forward and he ends up further back than we want to be, it's going to be hard to win, um, especially where the rail is. But, you know, hopefully um, we can just get out nicely and, and find the right spot. Have you had a chance to sit on him since that win? Uh, I work in the other morning and he's, he's quite a, a strong worker in the morning so you've, you've got to um, you know, 
get him, get him to go around as nice as he can and try and save him for race day. But uh, he's moving well and he, you know, he seems to be in good order. Did he give you the sense that perhaps he, he's come on for that and, and improved, if any? Uh, I wouldn't say he's sort of improved, but he's, he feels like he's in a similar form to what he was last time. So, you know, it's just a matter of getting the right run on him. Yeah, he obviously yeah. looks like one of, one, of, one of your better rides. Um, I must ask you, obviously, about the weekend. Um, great stuff always, five winners there and the quickest half century. Um, you're ticking these records off, Zach, like nobody's business. So, so well done there. And that must have been just something nice to, to achieve. And did you know it was happening? Did you know that was the case? Yeah, I knew, I knew, it, was, uh, I knew it was around about the mark. Yeah. Um, I didn't exactly know um, what, the, what the number had to be. I was just trying to ride as many winners as I could, as quick as I could. So... Um, it's nice to, to tick that one off and hopefully I can tick a few more off before the end of the season. There he is, Zach Purton, who rides Heroic Master once again. And we're going to further look at that race for you right now. This is back at Happy Valley last time. And there is Heroic Master just coming into the race at the top of the straight. Super Axiom doing what he always does, leading and stuck on OK. No match for the winner at the end. Special M is very consistent, Tom, and California deeply. He'll be fitter for that first run, but he'll be hoping there's a stack of speed and can just slot in from that wide draw. Yeah, that suited him last uh, time out uh, when he missed the start. Uh, California deeply. He still ran on pretty well, I thought, out wider, so it was a, a good run from him, but it's uh, difficult again. But Heroic Master, this is probably what he should have done on debut, Paul. He was three wide, no cover, but uh, this night around he was just too strong for them. He's, he's the winner for sure, I think. I think so as well. He, he'll probably come up a bit shorter. I think I, he's a big price at the moment, I thought, for what he'd done at 4.1, but... You're right, he, he, he was a winner waiting to happen after that first up run. Not a big team in for Frankie Law, Paul. Is he the best of them, Heroic Master? Yeah, definitely. Look, I made Flaming Passion the long shot last time, and he's, he's drawn low, so I'm going to include him in again and reward him together. Has to be a chance, as is Savvy Kingman. So I think all four of them are chances. And Huey Bowman's uh, jumped aboard uh, Flaming Passion from that uh, barrier draw of uh, one rewarding together. And Savvy Kingman, uh, he half by looked the winner last start too. He did, loves mm. the 1,800 metres, does a Savvy Kingman. Some... Class 4 form now, Tom, and this is pretty Queen Prawn, who's been plagued by some bad barriers throughout his career here in Hong Kong. He's come up with barrier number 9, so a wide draw again and up in grade for the first time. And Wagner Ball just uh, takes the ride here, and he was up on the pace and he actually kicked uh, quite nicely here. The form out of the race has worked OK, uh, with uh, Super Commander in uh, particular uh, coming out and winning it to his uh, next uh, start. So, look, he's in, but it's going to be a little tricky again, Paul, from that draw. Yeah, look, he, he might have to look for a bit of cover as well, because some of Chairs is a speedier horse than out of the gates and him as well. So if he does get some cover, then um, look, he's a chance, but just worried about where he's going to be in the run. Tom mentioned Super Commander. Here is that win, uh, Paul, from last time. This was absolutely enormous. From Barrier 12, ran 56.65, did it on his ear, but... When you look at his stats, he struggles when he comes up to Class 3. He does, doesn't he? Look, and he's got Super Axiom in the race. He got his own way here, albeit he just burned everyone off. As Tom said, handlebars down, and that, that was the case with him. He's going to be finding it a bit trickier now with Super Axiom uh, annoying him, I think. He is, and he might be one of those horses that you just need to, to ride and try and pinch a bit of a break and be a bit adventurous with just to uh, get him over that line. He may have turned the corner of this horse with Pierre Rung because his table's flying, so look, he may not be the worst here from Barrier 5. All right, so uh, that's Super Command. Commander. Newcomer, one of uh, not too many newcomers at the meeting, Tom, is Crystal Powerful. That's him at the trials recently. He's from Western Australia, had four starts before arriving. He was a listed winner uh, in Perth and he's had the three trials since he's been here. What have you made of them? Yeah, he was a bit slow out in his uh, most recent barrier trial, but he mustered some speed to go up and be on the pace. And, uh, he kept on OK, but coming to Happy Valley first up, he has had a trial at Happy Valley in the past. First up off 70. He is drawn well, but um, meets a, a decent field here, Paul, so I think it's going to be tough. I think it will be too. He's had the three trials. He didn't win that listed race and he went into group company and sort of failed a couple of times. So uh, 11.45, he's coming at a reasonable rating, I suppose, rating 70 for a listed winner. Just want to ask your thoughts to Summit Cheers coming to Happy Valley. You've been keen on him in the yeah. past at times. Yeah, I have. Uh, look, again, I just don't think this is the race is going to be there to suit him with Super Commander and Super Axiom in the race. Especially not from Barrier uh, 7. He was three wide, four wide. Yeah. Might have been no cover last time out, so... Not in this race. All right, that's a look at some of the runners in race number six. Who have you picked out on top, Paul? I thought a heroic master. He can sort of sit back, let the pace go and, and finish over the top of them. I think he's quite a nice horse, this one. It was a strong win last time. Special M, another one that can sort of sit midfield. I'm going to give California Deeply another chance because he'd been trialling really well leading into that debut run. He did Things went wrong for him, but he did finish off the race really strongly and then pretty queen pawn in there on a minor line. 3-2, 10-11. 
Same four numbers, just a different order for a third and fourth, but uh, I think Heroic Master, with all that speed in the race, uh, can let that unfold in front of him and uh, pull out uh, when the time is right and uh, run on by them here, Heroic Master. Special M, Hugh Bowman riding from Barrier 6, his last win was off 68. He's still a bit higher than that at the moment, but his effort uh, was pretty good last time out, and he's trialled well since. Pretty Queen Prawn's going to need a little bit of luck from the uh, draw of Barrier number 9, and to California Deeply, hopefully he jumps away a bit better, but even if he doesn't, if he gets back, I think uh, with the pace in the race, he'll be running on like he did last start so 3 2 11 and 10. That's race number six heroic master on top for both Paul and Tom. We head to a break here on racing to win on the other side of this a look at a quality lineup plenty of speed in race number seven. when I got um, 100 Metro winners in one season. I think it was really special because it wasn't just a, a female record, it was um, a record overall for any jockey. Really excited, it's um, a privilege and honour really to be asked to um, ride in Hong Kong. They only select a few jockeys from um, every country. And just to ride a winner in Hong Kong, that'd be uh, amazing too. I'm Jamie Carr and I'm representing Australia. And that will be a week tomorrow, so we're just over a week away from the IJC at Happy Valley. Indeed, this time next week, we'll be previewing that meeting on the show. But we've got one more at Happy Valley before we get there, and we're going to preview race number seven. Now the Glasgow Handicap over the 1,200 metres. Harmony and Rich draws an outside gate. Zach's ridden five times for three placings on the horse. Rewarding together draws Barry one, but carries an extra 11 pounds from his last start win. Handsome Bobo up in trip to the 1,200 metres. Grateful Heart has a wider draw, but it is his favourite trip. Astrologer plus four pounds on the sixth behind Rewarding together. Classic Unicorn, all wins have been at 1,000 metres. Navas two makes his Happy Valley debut. Street Scream, three in a row, comes into class two for the first time. Rock Your Heart better last time. And we've got Ping High Galaxy and a seizing the moment down the bottom. So it's a 12 100 metre race and we're gonna have a look at the uh, speed map here Tom and Classic Unicorn and Harmony and Rich both love to charge forward. Yeah they do but uh, Harmony and Rich is gonna to have to uh, try and get across from barrier 12 but uh, he's certainly got pace to be able to do so we know what Classic Unicorn does and uh, that is uh, roll along in front but uh, normally capitulates over the 1200 metres does a Classic Unicorn on the straight. Ping High Galaxy's got a bit of toe as well uh, Paul and he uh, won a, a trial uh, at Charton recently in good style. Yeah, yeah I thought he'd get himself into a nice position. Handsome Bobo's a query isn't he because he's hit a miss at the start. He can miss the start a few times, but when he jumps, he normally goes forward. Uh, rock your heart. Navis 2 coming to Happy Valley for the first time. Astrologer and seizing the moment. We know those two horses generally get back. They do indeed. All right, we're going to start with an interview before we get to the boys and their thoughts with some replays, and that is Vincent Ho, who rides Rock Your Heart. He was so much better last time. More like the Rock Your Heart from last season. Here's Vincent and Nick. Vincent, rock your heart is your ride in race seven on Wednesday night. Um, a race that looks full of pace and he acquitted himself really well last time behind Wizkid. Yeah, and uh, it's good to have some pace and also himself, he is, you know, he's quite fast as well. So um, with the gate, for sure it helps. He's got a good record here at Happy Valley without winning. Um, last time was a thousand, he goes up to 12. Is that going to suit him a bit better, do you think? Yeah, I think so. Um, well, he didn't win yet in Happy Valley, but he, he had a um, couple of good runs even before he had a 1,000 from uh, behind midfield and he, he still come home very strong. So um, 12 should, should, um, should be more. And I guess the course that we're racing on, Vincent, it's crucial to get a good draw. He's drawn in two, so I'm, I imagine you were happy seeing that. Yeah, definitely. With uh, C plus three, you know, um, so drawing two definitely helped. There's Vincent Ho with Rock Your Heart. So he draws two. The horse that draws on the inside, Paul, is rewarding together. Massive plus, but a massive weight in post here as well. Yeah, he does go up quite a lot, but gee, he won nicely, didn't he? It was a good win from him. I didn't mind the run of astrology here, and he should get the pace to suit. He's dropped seven pounds coming in, so he'll strip a fitter horse as well. And 
Uh, I like the way he hit the line. He's a 1,200 metre specialist. Happy Valley is uh, rewarding together. And I think uh, he can go on with it again despite uh, that extra weight that he's uh, got to uh, uh, carry this time round. And look, I'd give Ping Hai Galaxy another chance. He's drawn nicely. Should get a, a good run in transit. Covered ground uh, throughout last time out. Trialled up last Tuesday at uh, Sharton down the straight of 800. Look good there, I thought. And that's coming up shortly, that trial. Here's the uh, stats for the 1,200 on the C plus three, Tom. One, two and three and also five. A good record. The anomaly barrier four. Four wins but 11. Seconds. Yeah, it's a little bit of an odd number there uh, for that uh, particular uh, draw. It's uh, Navas 2 who's uh, got it uh, this time round, but uh, the wider you get, uh, the more uh, sparse it uh, can be to try and find uh, a winner there. Gate number 9's got a, a reasonable record uh, as uh, well with uh, five wins. So there, Handsome Bobo jumps out of that pool. Yeah, he does, and if he can, he can jump uh, cleanly, he should get himself into a nice position. He has run well this season. Speaking of running well, Street Scream. Tom, can he do it again? Bigger test for him this week up in grade. Yeah, he's flying at the moment. This horse unbeaten in his uh, three runs this uh, campaign. He's got 10 pounds off his back, which is definitely going to uh, assist him up here. But uh, Barry number 10, he's shown a good turn of foot uh, when he's uh, won these uh, last couple of efforts. Uh, Paul, another horse that's been back uh, to the trials and won without uh, too much uh, pressure. But he seems to have just found a new lease of life, this horse. Hasn't he? Hasn't he been going well this season? And uh, yeah, definitely that 10 pound claim is going to help him a lot. I can have a look at his uh, little report card here too, Paul Street Screaming. You can see 31 starts for five wins, but three of them at the last three outings. Yeah, exactly, and they've all been this season. So that's that's been the, the sort of the turning point for him. Uh, three from three this season, I think, is probably the telling stat there. And he hasn't gone off as short price favourite either. 3.32 starts going 3.1 last start. So if you've been following, you've got a decent return. Absolutely, you have, and he's come up uh, in betting in at the third or fourth line at the moment has a street scream. Here is this trial you spoke of, uh, Tom, down the straight. And he loves a trial, Ping High Galaxy, just loves to get out and about. He does. Uh, he's had a, a few trials uh, this uh, season. He, of course, he did win first. Uh, we won uh, second up, uh, sorry. And then since then, he's run third and fourth behind uh, rewarding together. And uh, Wizka, this was with uh, nervous uh, witness uh, here, but he was over, able to overtake him. Karis Teton was in the uh, saddle here for this uh, trial, but looked to uh, tank along quite nicely. Yeah, and he's drawn nicely in barrier number five as well. So, look, he's going to get his opportunity for sure. Interesting runner. One of the most interesting runners all meeting, Paul Navas too. He's been back to the trials. He's got a new jockey now in Derek Long. All of his wins have been 1,400. How do you see him coping on the smaller track over 1,200? I think he'll cope all right. He's, he's a nuggety little horse, is uh, Navas too. I'm going to include him. I want to keep him safe. I haven't got him on a win line, but we know he's uh, full of talent in this horse. And uh, from barrier number four, he should get a nice enough for him. Yeah, I've got him in two. Uh, he's just in on a minor line. The format of his last race is good. Keefe and so the Irishman have come out and uh, won out of that. So no Happy Valley barrier trial for him. He's £1,234 and he's drawn barrier number four. I've got him in, but wouldn't want to see him cluttered up down on the rail in the straight, I don't think. OK, so that is Navas two. That's a look at uh, race number six. Any of the horse or race number seven, any of the horses outside of their ball that we haven't talked about that we should look at? Uh, look, I, I think we've talked about the main chances there as well. I mean, Classic Unicorn's the one that's probably going to lead them along, but uh, the 1,200 metres is the query for him. I'm going to, I reckon it's a really open race, so I'm going to go with Astrologer. He's going to get the race run to suit with all his pace. I like the way he hit the line uh, last time behind Rewarding Together. Obviously, Rewarding Together is way up in the weights. So at, at a decent each-way price, Astrology is 12 and 3.3 .3 at the moment. Uh, Rewarding Together, I think, is the one to beat, though. Um, just got to carry that extra weight. Navas 2 is the query because he's never been to Happy Valley before and Street Screams the horse in form. Really good race coming up in race number seven, but uh, ended up with 6, 3, 8 and 9. Well, Mark mentioned maybe is there any other horses worth considering. Grateful Heart's been terribly out of form. He's back on his sort of last winning mark now of about 92, but uh, he's been out of form. So maybe he's one to watch because he was going well course and distance a couple of seasons ago. But rewarding together, I know he's got more weight to carry, but uh, I think he's going to be tough to beat. Street Scream's obviously got uh, the, the weight in his favour of the £10 off his back. Ping High Galaxy trialled nicely and uh, Navas 2 keeping him safe. So 3, 9, 11 and 8. That is race number seven. And just back to that promo we saw for Jamie Carr. If you need any information as far as racing for International Week, HKIR for Longines, the IJC, it's all there on the HKJC website for you. You can jump on there and get uh, a one-stop shop. Right. We need some more winners for the programme, please, Paul. Well, look, it's a C plus three course. I thought the first two races, Angus Chung takes £10 off front runners. Um, 
backs, and that's Next Model and Wine and Wine. I thought both those two horses uh, could win, uh, running pretty well. They're both uh, really well rated with that uh, £10 claim. Kung Fu Master Panda, the best he's done over 2,200 metres is the fifth, but he's in uh, good form at the moment. It's going well for Pierre Ung as well. Flying Silver, like him, being downgraded and Hugh Bowman aboard. Red Hand Kingdom's a horse ready to win. I think he's uh, a winner waiting to happen, and Zach Purden will jump aboard him as well. And Tianti Monster, like him, up in trip, downgraded in the last. And all those races are also available on the website while you're perusing HKIA. You can also check out the race by race analysis at hkjc.com. You'll find those races under the audio and video section. There's not too much longer of the show to go, Paul. Who's your best bet? Well, I do like Heroic Master, but I thought he might come up a bit short. So I'm going to go with Tianti Monster in the last. Should be a uh, decent each way price, uh, Tianti Monster. So he's up in grade and he's uh, drawn nicely and he's also. Uh, also He's uh, downgraded, which I think is the key for him. So the long shot I'm going to do, um, which is uh, Astrologer in, a, in a race number seven. Astrologer, I think, get back. He'll be running on strongly. And uh, the play we're going to do with in Flying Silver's race. I do like Flying Silver, who's been downgraded, uh, along with number seven, which is Medic Elite, and ten Smart Cousin. One, seven, and ten QQP. Best for me comes up in race five. It's number nine, Rattan Kingdom. He's drawn a gate this time round, so with an, an ounce of luck, I think he can uh, win this uh, race. So race five, number nine, Rattan Kingdom. Zach Purton from uh, Barry number four. Value comes up in the previous uh, race, uh, Flying Silver. Hugh Bowman, Danny Shum, downgraded to here. Hopefully comes up uh, an, an OK price. Uh, of course, the form's worked out behind Exceptional Nice. He's won again since, so... Uh, he's the value, and uh, then the uh, plate in uh, one of the uh, later races, uh, race number six, uh, Heroic Master in the forecast there, bankering him around Special M, uh, California Deeply, and Pretty Queen Prawn. Going for a race number two, first starter, Mr Fun, Zach Purton and uh, Danny Shum. Danny produced a first starter last week in Nordic Dragon to win. Now, he does have to overcome barrier 11. He's trot up well around Happy Valley. He won that trial by a neck but was cruising. Quiet trial since behind Happy Fat Cat at Sha Tin. Tronic Mighty is now with Jamie Richards and we saw the stats as far as the C plus three course goes. He's drawn one Tronic Mighty, three trials. Keith Young on board hasn't done too much on race day but his last trial where he beat Shanghai Power was good. And the play of the day, race two, side hero racing well, Mr Fun on debut and double show. He's drawn nicely down in Barry number two, so 6, 7, 11 in a QQP. That has been racing to win, Tom. The international horses starting to arrive. Law of Indices arrived this morning. Yep, he certainly did to for Annabelle Nisham. So he's arrived. The next few will be arriving in a, a few days' time. Of course, we're at Charton at the weekend. Uh, four on the turf, six on the all-weather. Galaxy Witness on the all-weather, Paul, with uh, Apache Pass. That was a shocker last time. Really. Yeah, he's back in distance, uh, Galaxy um, witness, but the good one I'm looking forward to is a well-named good band, Bang Bang Bang. He's going to be on debut on Sunday. We'll be practicing that, and we'll good band, Bang 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 you goodbye right now for Racing to Win.